Emotions. What are they? Do your emotions control you? Do you think with your emotions? Or do you control your emotions? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Beerman. I'm very glad that you came by today to join us for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Now we start every week with a happy share and that's something that leaves you feeling good. Not something that happened for your kid or your parents or your spouse or your best friend. Something that happened for you. And for me, if you've been following me the last few years, you know sometimes I open my mouth and not a whole lot of sound comes out. And many hours earlier today, that was happening. However, right now, my voice is really strong. And I was talking with someone today on the phone who has a hearing problem. And she had absolutely no problem hearing and understanding me. And I thought, that is way cool. Made me really, really happy. And by the way, a metaphysical ministry is all about how you create your reality and the understanding that you do, in fact, create it. And what goes on in here is what's reflected in your world. And the fact that with your five senses, you can only experience 1%, actually less than 1% of all the reality that's there. So you want to know how to allow yourself to experience the other dimensions that exist. Now then, about emotions. Emotions are things that you can choose to control. Oh, I hear you saying, no, I'm depressed. I can't help it. It's my body chemistry. Guess who controls your body chemistry? You do. The fact is that people who have different personalities, multiple personalities, they can switch from one personality to the other and exhibit high blood pressure in one, diabetes in a different one. And they go from one to the other and they have completely different physical, measurable physical realities. It's because it's what goes on up here. The default way of thinking today is not happy. That's why there are record numbers of people being depressed because it actually takes a conscious awareness that you can change your mood, that you want to make a mood change, that you're willing to invest the energy to do so. You see, emotions are things that lodge in your body. If I said to you right now, just imagine you feel sad. You'd feel it someplace in your body. For me, I feel it all around my heart. And then I said, now feel happy. Yeah, I feel that as a bursting of energy, like fireworks going on inside me. And here's what's important. That very real physical happening, it's causing damage inside your body. In my special kinesiology practice, I help people eliminate the physical problems, the emotional and mental problems that are simply manifestations of blocked energy by themes. Because certain themes store in certain places in your body. And I can explain to you what your vulnerabilities are to injury, to illness, to conditions, to disease. That's how accurate your body is about reading your emotions and storing them when they happen. So, what I really want you to take away from this fact about emotions is a new way to look at emotions. Yes, emotions, they're energy in motion, but you get control over where 
they're going to lodge because the moment you notice that you're feeling a way that's other than happy, it's your choice. It is your choice. It's called free will to change your thoughts, to do a different action, and there are many ways to instantly change to happy and to create the habit of happiness so it's permanent. And I know this for a fact because I spent many years being severely depressed until somebody taught me that's how I'm choosing to feel. Stop being a victim. It's your choice to move in a different direction and here's something really, really important that you can choose to do right now. Unfortunately, most people won't because it's a comfort zone. They know how they feel when they're depressed. They complain to others, oh, get out of a whole lot of responsibilities by being depressed. So, if you drink enough water that your body actually uses, that actually repairs most depression, most mental issues. And the second piece of that is stop eating wheat. Wheat was not designed for human consumption. And then people tell me, I can't get off of wheat. And they really tell themselves when they say that. The fact is, oh yeah, wheat is a physical addiction. Just like smoking or drinking or taking any drug, including that antidepressant. So, you get to choose if you want to change your mood, if you want to change your health. I just gave you two very powerful methods. But as I said, most people won't do them because it's easier to keep going than to step in a new direction. But here's a fact. I noticed one day when I was shoveling snow, that I could look behind me and I could see the tracks of where I'd been. But you know what? Those tracks where I'd been, they in no way predicted where my next step would be. Your path is not an indicator of where you're going. The choice is always yours. If you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold the Space For. And maybe if you're somebody who's depressed or anxious or whatever is bothering you, you put your name up there. Tell us what it is that you'd like to happen in your world. I'll share it. And you come back, you got to share it with your family and your friends and read every name on that list and ask. You know, you don't have to ask. You just have to read the name and what they're asking for. The universe knows who they are. You don't have to. I know I put my name up there. And if you're with me every week, you notice a big difference in my voice from week to week. A big difference. It really makes a difference when people are helping you to take the thought form that you create and make it bigger and bigger by their participating in it. If you haven't done so already, go on over there and if you give me your name and email, I'll give you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. Trust me, it's not the usual thing. I really appreciate your clicking like and share. Let the world know that they're choosing the kind of mood in life they live. And if they don't like it, there's not somebody out there to blame. But there's you inside. 